right guys, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna install a larger window. All right guys, this window is installed. I believe this is a seven foot window. I think we're gonna get a, a 12 foot window. So it's gonna go about two, two and a half feet farther. So about to here. Okay guys, take a look at this window opening. 12 foot wide window opening, looking out at the ocean. Wow, this is incredible. What a view. I built a platform out here. My idea is to get the window up on this platform and then once it's on the platform, we'll be able to set it in place. I'm gonna be using Quad Max door and window and siding sealant. Here's the old window, look how tiny this is. This is only like seven feet. Seven feet and now we have a 12 foot. All right, folks, let's take a look at this window installation. I just installed the two by four trim around the window. This is looking incredible. Now this one is an Anderson, 12 foot by five feet. That's looking really good. Take a look at this trim work. Look how tight this corner is right here. Perfect cut. So when you're cutting your trim for your window, um, those 45s, it's good to have a chop saw. And what we have here is the Roby uh, seven and a quarter. And that just about is all you need to make these cuts. Um, it doesn't quite cut all the way through with a uh, 45 or a two by four. So I finished it off with this handsaw and it seems to work really good. All right guys, this window is installed, looking good. Just wanna show you how we, we did this. We put a four by four for a trimmer underneath a laminated uh, paralam. You can see it has multiple layers of plywood. Um, so this is a four by 12 by uh, 12 and a half feet or 13 feet. This is an Anderson window. Anderson casement window. Some removable screens here. These ones will wheel open right here. They have these turn handles on both sides. So these will um, open up. I'm cutting all the shingles to fit uh, right above the window now. So these are a certain thickness all the way through and I'm just laying it, laying it out on the ground and then I'll simply take it up there and we'll use a galvanized nail to attach these. So I'm pre-cutting everything on the ground. We'll fill that in and then on the bottom we have to fill in all the shingles here as well. So I have a um, cutting station right here to cut all the shingles. You can see we saved all the shingles and these big panels 